In this video, I'm going to show you how to disable a WordPress plugin directly through the FTP or a file manager. This method becomes particularly useful when one of your WordPress plugins stops working and you cannot log into your WordPress admin panel to disable it. So first of all, you have to log into your hosting account or connect it via FTP and go to the root directory where your WordPress is installed. And then look for the following uh, files and folders as you see on the screen here. Uh, then look for the folder called wp-content and open it. Within this folder, look for the plugins folder. And uh, here you'll see a list of uh, plugins which are installed on your WordPress. So for the purpose of this example, I'm going to show you how to disable um, a plugin called WooCommerce. So what you have to do is um, hover on it and um, right click and rename the folder itself. So let's add a um, suffix uh, dash in Mac. Play. And let's save it. Now focus on the screen here on the left. Once I refresh the page, you'll see the menu button is gone. Uh, so uh, in fact, if we go to the plugins, you'll notice there's an error message. The plugin WooCommerce has been deactivated due to an error. Plugin file does not exist. And it's exactly because we just renamed the, the folder. So if we actually go back and remove the uh, recently added suffix and save it, and let's refresh the page, you'll notice that WooCommerce plugin be once again becomes available. All we have to do is just simply click activate to activate it. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Let's see, as you can see, the WooCommerce plugin is back function uh, is functional. Um, and uh, one more thing, uh, in the event, if you need to disable all plugins in your WordPress, um, um, uh, on your WordPress site, it's also very easy to do. All you have to do is once again, just go to wp-content and just simply rename the whole plugins folder. So let me right click on it and also add the following suffix in that and save it. Now, once I refresh the page, you'll notice all these plugins will be will show an error and they're going to be unavailable. Here you go. All plugins have been automatically deactivated. And as usual, in case you want to activate them all, just re re remove the suffix. So let's rename it and remove the inactive suffix. And let's refresh the page. As you can see, all plugins have become once again available. All you have to do is just activate them one by one individually or select them all and click activate apply. It's really that straightforward. And right now all plugins have been activated. So as usual, I hope you found this WordPress tutorial useful. And for more tutorials, please ensure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.